Welcome to exercise 5 of problem sheet 1. This is probably the most interesting task in exercise sheet 1 and we're asked to investigate the group C for V which corresponds to a pyramid in 3D with a square base. The elements of C for V are listed right here. You can extract them out of the uh, out of the square base of this pyramid. It's the identity, a fourfold rotation, and two times two mirror planes. Our task is now to find all subgroups. One way to find subgroups is taking the number of elements in the subgroup being a divisor of the number of elements in the original group. In this way we can construct all possible subgroups and test them for plausibility. This can actually be done for C4V but is a rather tedious task for bigger groups. Therefore we are introduced here with a, another way how to determine subgroup, a more geometrical way, and the theorem goes as follows. If we, if we deliberately break symmetries in our structure, but preserve some other ones, we can construct all subgroups from distorting our system. This is a little to abstract, therefore here is an example. The first way to distort our structure is moving B a little closer to D. And see what happens. We look at the XY plane and we, if we move B a little closer to D, we're left with this structure. Of course, this structure has only one symmetry plane, namely the reflection plane right here. This is now a subgroup of C4V. It is called CS and it consists only of the identity and a reflection plane. So what do we mean when we, when we say we distort our system? We're not permitted to create new symmetries. That means we're not allowed to take down the tip of the pyramid and make it only in one plane because then we would introduce a new mirror plane named the, namely in the XY plane. This is not allowed. We're only allowed to introduce new edges and corners which we, we did right here. A second way to uh, distort this system is with a thinking of, well, can we do the same distortion but keep a little more symmetry? Yes, we can. We can move point D similarly to B. And we arrive at this kind of structure. We have A here, B here, C here, D here. In this structure, you can see we have two mirror planes and we have a two-fold rotation. Of course, if uh, by, by the solution of exercise 4, we know that this is C2V, which is identity, two-fold rotation and two times A reflection. This is also a subgroup of C4V. Here, by our distortion right, dis distortion right here, we deliberately destroyed rotational symmetry. Now we want to do it the other way around. We will deliberately want to destroy reflection symmetry and keep rotational symmetry. We've done this in exercise 3 part F, where we wanted to construct a chiral object and we can do this here too. In our third distortion we have our 
corner points A, B, C and D and we introduce some high rolling. The only symmetry operation allowed right here is the C4, C4 to the minus one, or C2 operation. Which corresponds to the group C4 we also discuss in exercise three, namely the identity and all fourfold rotations. Now the question remains, can we destroy even more rotational symmetry? And the solution is to introduce only some chirally, namely if we have again our square base A, B, C and D, we can do something like this where we introduced only chirally on some sides of the square base and we left it out on the other sides. In this object we have only C2 symmetry. And this subgroup is essentially called C2 and it consists of the identity and the element C2. We now arrived at four different subgroups. The question is, are they, is there every subgroup listed in here that can be possibly constructed? And the answer is yes. If you try to construct more subgroups, you end up by destroying either every single symmetry that the system has or arrive at the same subgroups. No other subgroup can be constructed by distorting our system. Of course, the easiest subgroup, the trivial subgroup, is the identity or the whole group which is left out in the explanation because it's too trivial. So you have those four real subgroups by distorting the system. Remember that it is not allowed to create new symmetries. You can only destroy symmetries by introducing new edges or corners and this is how you do it. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, see you next time.